It's day two of Vegan Food Diaries, and we're back to work. Okay, so it's day two of the Vegan Food Diaries, and this is a normal Monday. I pretty much started the day at, oh, I don't know, 5.30. Got up, got showered, got ready, cleaned the house, have my 7 a.m. Bible study, and uh, then after that, I had to get some work done here on the computer. I had to get the video from yesterday edited and up so you guys could watch day one of Vegan Food Diaries and, um, you know, check on the Facebook groups, Frugal Family Food, Frugal Family Life, and all that good stuff. So um, all of that's done, and now I'm hungry and I'm thinking about breakfast. So what it's probably going to be is just oatmeal this morning because that's a really quick, easy uh, breakfast. I'll show you what that looks like. Ricky and Marquise already left for school and are not, they didn't eat breakfast when they left. And they, Ricky straight up told me he's eating lunch out. So I assumed, and if you've watched our other live video um, last Tuesday, that that would probably happen. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky and Marquise weren't excited. They were jumping ship on me quickly. So, but they did do really well yesterday, I thought, and I was very proud of them and thankful for their effort. And they're going to get vegan dinner tonight, so they're kind of out of luck there. Um, but anyway, so Brian is currently getting ready. I don't know if he's going to have breakfast or not. I'll be sure to ask him. Brianna and Rick are up and about. Rick's off today. It's kind of a busy day. Um, let's go in the kitchen and see what's on the menu plan. I know for dinner we're having vegan shepherd's pie. And I think lunch is pasta fagioli. But let's just double check. Let's double check that. I got Rick. We cornered him. So what are you going to have for breakfast? Mm, my normal coffee. That's what I figured. Yes. So that's what Rick has for <laughs> breakfast. That's his own personal choice. Is it yeah. vegan? Uh, it's very vegan. It is super, it is a uh, bean. I was vegan before you. For breakfast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm going to go enjoy my oatmeal. Yes, ma'am. You enjoy your coffee. Thank you. All righty. All right. So there's the oatmeal and there's Brian getting ready for work. And we're having the smoothie was the Bolt House Farms. We're having green goodness. And this is one of my favorites. So it, it looks gross, I promise you. Let me just get it clearer here. Yeah, it looks gross. But it smells, it, it tastes really good. Is, is that not fair? Doesn't it taste pretty good? It tastes like apple juice. It tastes like apple juice. It's very, it tastes pretty good. It just looks green and gross. So anyway, we're gonna have our breakfast. Okay, so it's Rick's day off and we decided that we would go out today and try to find, since he's off, some vegan eating out options and I think we've agreed on Burger King they actually have a veggie burger so we are going to go to Burger King and try a veggie burger and some fries you guys you guys seem thrilled I'm excited so let's go here we are time to get a veggie burger okay we are here with a veggie burger yes and uh, Rick's gonna go ahead and give it a try go ahead Got all kinds of stuff on it. Let me know what you think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. So what am I eating? It's a bit. I don't know. It's a veggie burger. Is it veggie chicken or veggie beef? I think it's a veggie burger. Okay. But we'll find uh -huh. out. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. He's letting me have a minute to chew it. You're excited to try it, aren't you, Brianna? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You like your veggie fries, right? Mm -hmm. Still deciding? It's not bad. It's pretty good. You think uh, it's better than the one we had last night? Mm. Well, I do, but, but still, they're both all right. Last time tonight, for okay. today. Uh, I think if I didn't know what I was eating, I would think it was beef. Would you really? That's not bad. That's pretty good. Okay. Brianna looking thrilled to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like pouring the ketchup on. We don't trust it. Oh yes. That's it. That is it. Clearly she is not a fan. You liked your chicken better that last night? That is it. Yes. I really want to try it, but I'm waiting on you. 
You want some vegan water? You make it in a pot. It's on the tip of my tongue. Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. It tastes like Sloppy Joe. Doesn't it taste like Sloppy Joe? But you love Sloppy Joe. I, I know, and it's good. Your look did not say this because was good. Because that scared me. Oh, a okay. little. You gotta work up to it. Well, I'm gonna try it. Here talking. So we're sitting here talking, and we were talking about how the veggie burger is really not our favorite. I don't mind it. I really like the one we had last night better. I don't. But we we agreed that regardless we'd rather have actual vegetables than the fake patty. Is this on us? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's on me. It's on you. Don't you agree? You'd rather have vegetables than the fake patty? Start over because I have no idea what you were saying. Because I thought you were on you. I did too. We agree that we would rather have um, vegetables mm -hmm. than the fake patty. Because it doesn't really taste like a burger. <clears throat> yes, I agree. I would. I said that last week that. I would always rather have a salad or something like that, fresh stuff. Although I would miss eating hot things, <laughs> so I could understand the, um, the desire. desire to eat a veggie burger. And of course, I think it's something you have to get used to. Just because I, you know, like I used to put cream and sugar in my coffee, and black coffee tasted crazy. But now I drink black coffee and the milk and sugar tastes crazy. <laughs> so it's all in what you get used to, I think. Well, we got a whole week. <laughs> we can get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> You're threatening me. So yeah. Disappointment. Real disappointment. <laughs> the homemade is definitely better. Homemade stuff in general so particularly on this vegan thing and we've only had one day in so <laughs> you can tell Brianna's excited she's in tears over here <laughs> okay so I'm working on dinner and and I'm making the vegan shepherd's pie so what I have going on is I have some rice cooking brown rice and I have two cups of brown rice if you want to be specific and I have about eight potatoes kind of smallish potatoes um, uh, they're cut and diced and peeled and boiling in water or waiting for it to boil I have over here grab it, a couple of packages of the vegetarian gravy I'm gonna take some mixed vegetables that I have in here mixed vegetables and I'm gonna add that with some black beans and so okay so the gravy the rice the black beans and the mixed vegetables and then I'm going to put the mashed potatoes on top and you know put some seasonings on there and that's gonna be my shepherd's pie uh, kind of the veganized version of it so um, that is the plan for the evening I got it going I'm gonna show you what's on the stove it's nothing complicated so I'm not gonna show you the process like I said it's just putting it all together and I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it for a few minutes let me show you what I got okay so you can tell that this brown rice is just about done I might actually go ahead and take that 
those off the stove. And then over here, I have my potatoes. They're just coming to a boil, so that's getting ready. I was really torn with the idea of whether or not I wanted to cook the rice all the way. I did it before where I had some meat and veggies and things, and it wasn't enough, so I added some leftover rice, and it worked out really, really well. But again, that was leftover rice. This rice is gonna be freshly cooked and still warm. So I'm a little bit iffy about putting a lot of it in there because I feel like it might soak up a lot of the gravy and I don't want it to do that. So um, we're gonna see how how it works. I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that rice sit there for a minute. Hopefully it'll cool down a little bit. It's a lot easier if it was cool. I wish I'd have thought about it sooner, but I didn't. So it's gonna be an experiment and we're gonna work it out. But I'm pretty sure that anything with gravy and mashed potatoes is gonna be pretty good and. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it'll be edible. So We're gonna see how it all turns out. I'll show you when I have it mixed together. So I figured it wasn't enough flavor, so what I did was I went ahead and made a mirepoix, which is just uh, you know, an onion slice, some celery, some carrot, and some garlic, and I fried it in a little bit of oil, and then once it was softened and cooked really well, I added a little bit of liquid to the pan just to get the goodness, and I'm putting it in the food processor to puree it, because we're gonna have actual vegetables too, and uh, people in my house have texture issues. So I'm going to puree this and add this to it as well as maybe some tomato paste and some other things, just a little seasoning. And I also have this. I made some vegan meatballs and I'm going to go ahead and cut those up and put it in there as well. Here are my mashed potatoes. I didn't demonstrate how to make those because I assume most of you guys know how to make that. But essentially I just took the um, potatoes, I cubed them, I boiled them for about 20 minutes till they were softened. And then I put them in this uh, bowl. I added some uh, earth balance butter and I added a little salt, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, a little pepper, and a little thyme. And that's going to be our topping. And of course, right now, let me tell you what I'm going to do. So right now, I'm getting ready to make this, the mixed vegetables. After I make that, I'm going to cook the beans and the gravy. And then I think I'll be ready to put it all together. So I'm I'm a little nervous about this. It's a lot of a lot of things I'm unsure about, but I I experiment a lot and I think it's going to turn out well. It's just, you know, stuff like this makes me nervous. So, we're going to see how it turns out. I'll let you know. Okay, so I have all the pureed vegetables in here. I added a tablespoon of tomato paste, and I also added about half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a little over a half a teaspoon of salt just to give it a little more flavor. And I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to add probably a tablespoon of flour, add a little water, and make this kind of its own gravy. And this will just give it a little more flavor in the liquid component because I think those gravy packets that I have aren't going to be enough because we have so many dry ingredients. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I put it in, in this uh, container just so you can see it. I put the rice in there. I have the vegetables in there. I have I cut the meatballs into quarters. I have, a, you don't, probably can't see it, it's over here, but that tomato paste gravy I did underneath. And then the top is that savory gravy that I bought from Ingalls. And let me tell you, it smells really good. I'm actually super excited to eat this. I'm stirring it up to combine it now, but this actually looks really good. And I think it's gonna turn out great. So I just gotta add some beans and I'm gonna put this uh, potato topping on. And I think we're ready to go. So this looks really great. Okay, check these out. This is the mix spread out in the pan. It, uh, it looks and smells really good. Sorry about the lighting here. That's a little better, but it looks really, really good. And I'm just gonna add the potatoes on top. Okay, so here we go. This is, has the mashed potatoes on top. I actually made them a little thick, so it was hard to spread them evenly, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375 for about 15, 20 minutes. I might even broil them for a minute just to make sure they're um, nice and um, I don't know, crispy on top. Uh, I might even put a couple seasonings on the top too, but uh, regardless, this is heading in and it's going to be good. I'm really excited about it. Okay, here's the final product and I put a little seasoning on the top and I think it looks really, really good. Like, I'm actually really excited to taste this. So we're going to get this on some plates and see what everybody thinks. Okay, I have the whole family here at least getting ready to sit down. And we're going to go ahead and eat the vegan shepherd's pie and show you guys how it's done. We're going to have salad with it, and uh, but every, everything's not ready. We just want to go ahead and show you guys uh, what we think of it and get that done because it's actually a little hard to sit and eat at the table <laughs> with the camera. So um, I'm going to switch around and you can see what everybody thinks and then I'll taste it. 
So Brian, Marquise, Ricky, you guys are up first because that's all that fits in the camera. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good, huh? That's all you gotta say? It does taste kind of beefy. It does. You think so? Not quite, like gravy. But, but similar. Can you, have you gotten a vegan meatball? No. Vegan meatballs, huh? Yes, they're in there. Mm-hmm. Now the vegan meatballs are pretty good. With the gravy, everybody. Th- Ricky, you're liking it. I can You're not even saying anything, so you must really like it. When you try the vegan thing, <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's good. I like right. it. Yay! It's a star. Okay. It's already done. The vegan shepherd's pie is a success. Oh, okay. Already done. Brianna, go ahead. <laughs> Ricky's on his second one. Oh, Rick Sr.'s in this, so if you lean forward, honey, you can be in it, too. Not so much you, Brianna. You're iffy about it. Sr. <clears throat> well, it's different, but it's... <laughs> but I actually like it. It's kind of like a along the pot pie realm. Yeah. Compared only, to with, the... only without the dough and everything with potatoes instead, and I kind of like it. Compared to the other vegan A lot of flavor. Is it true? <clears throat> I'm not going to throw too much shade at it, because I'm just not the biggest fan of shepherd's pie. Well, I think... Uh, so I'm sure to someone that likes it, it's good. Mm. Compared to the other vegan stuff you've had, where, where would this So far, this is the best. Yeah. This is the By best? far. By well, far. Do you feel the same? My bagel thing? was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my favorite was my vegan coffee. I like the water. But this is second. Yeah. You like vegan this? Coffee I, I like this a lot more than the uh, the uh, patties and things. Yeah. I agree. This is actually a whole lot better. Okay. How about you guys? This is a lot better than the patties. Patties are still weren't bad. Yeah, the patties weren't bad, but this. But is this better. this is a lot. But this better. is good. Mm-hmm. This qualifies as. It's on the same realm of taste as regular food. Is this the best vegan option so far? Oh yeah. No, I am forgetting about the chili. The chili was very good, too. The chili was really well, good. We oh, eat okay. the chili normally. I don't yeah. have, count that as vegan. But this is thick. So if you're actually hungry, this actually feels like you ate something. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> or actually, here, Brianna, you tell me. You oh, we stop it. oh, hi. <laughs> okay, I have a bite. I'm going to take it. I think it tastes very good. I mean, it, it tastes like gravy and potatoes, <laughs> so you can't really go wrong with that. I have to say, well, I haven't had a meatball. Let me find a meatball. So far, like, the first bite tasted more like a side dish. So I'm going to taste it with a meatball. The meatball is actually really good. I think it's pretty good. I'm excited. About it. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna go ahead and eat our dinner and get our salads and our water together. So that's what it tasted like. This was a hit, guys. This is a vegan vegan hit. So I hope you guys like it. Maybe give it a try. End of day two, vegan week. Everybody doing good? Yes. Yeah. Success. Vegan week. End of day two. I'm going around the circle here. I want to make a vegan pun. Oh no! Please don't. This has been. Uh-oh. This is Bean. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is Day this is... 2 of Vegan Week. Bean. Wow. Everybody's awesome. Loving it. All right. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.